Hi guys. I'm coming back with y'all. I've, I've changed spots. I done got in my bed now because I'm getting comfortable. But um, I'm coming. Sorry about father moving. But um, I'm coming back with you guys because I have another groom talk session. Uh, this is number five. It's a young lady that's about to, about to be a, a newlywed uh, next month. But something has derailed her. Uh, from doing so and the reason is because her fiance come up to her and asked her could they have a threesome before they got married um and this is nothing to do with you know the game and all that you know this was a question that was written before the game came on and I was just going through and it caught my attention because it was a SOS and uh, which all of them are SOS's but this one was the, t the subject was SOS and uh, she feels like if she doesn't participate in it or give him an okay she feels like he won't marry her so the question is should she get a, get the threesome even though she doesn't believe in them she doesn't she doesn't you know she thinks that's disgusting gross and nasty and for her fiance to come to her and ask her that it's kind of messing with her because now she's starting to question herself and she's starting to question you know is this marriage going to be salvageable you know is he is he going to ask me this after we're married so um if if I had a fiance and he comes to me and he said, April, uh, let's have a, a adventurous night before we get married. Hell no. Nigga, are you? No. What I want to share your penis with somebody else for? And why would you want to share my vagina with somebody, really? Um... I would really like y'all feedback on this one because this woman is really upset. She is really, really, I mean, this is long. And I um, emailed her before I did the video to let her know that I'm going to do her video. So she emailed me back quick and said thank you because she's been dealing with this. Um, she the, the question was posted up <coughs> the 28th of... Um, February and uh yeah so she is really 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 upset she is really really upset because she stated that she's in love with him and you know I just skimmed through it cause that's long as hell and you know she started cause she started from when they started you when know, I just got to the main portion <laughs> and thank she highlighted it for me so that's where I went to where she highlighted because she stated in, in, in the letter go to the highlight part and that's what I went to so she's very very upset you guys because she wants to know is that a gateway of saying that it's okay for your man to cheat as well um, whether you participate or not if you say uh, okay and you do it with him is that saying that it's okay for him to cheat that's a good damn question that is a very good question and the reason why I say this is kind of a you know not too easy question to ask because some people do it to spice up their marriage and some people do it to spice up their sex life and you know they go in with it for 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 holiday and you know head on straight but for the women that don't like that shit, that's considered cheating to them. Um, that's considered cheating to them. For the ones that be like, girl, I'm finna give my man the best in the menage a trois he ever. They just ignorant. <laughs> they just don't give a damn. But um, she asked me if it was me, would I do it? No. Um, because, you know... 
we when you're young you do stupid things and then when you get older you think twice so no if it was if, if i had a fiance and i'm in love with him and i'm really I, I see myself building a foundation with him having kids and us retiring you know being on the island together drinking a coca a, a, a pina colada or something with our heart monitors and stuff <clears throat> no i would not do it and she feels like if she don't he will not marry her so um i would tell you to pray about it um that's kind of a hard situation because i don't know you you know him better than i do and this question when i first got it i was like this 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 question needs to go to candy cuz candy would just be like you tell that mother sucker <laughs> i know how she do but um yeah i uh don't think that um you should do it and that is a good question and in your mind frame you're thinking that it's cheating and some women would think that it's cheating that you open up a gateway for something that you can't close like a pandora's box because you know once you open that up there's you know they always state you do you continue to do what you did when you got the, when you when you hook line sink of the person and that's something that you don't want to start off with so to me that is you know something that I feel that you shouldn't do and if he does not marry you because of it then you then you got then to me you got out of it you you know now what he who and what he is before you walk down that aisle My grandmama used to say them skeletons in them closet can reveal some things. And, you know, what's always, what's always good ain't gold, baby. So, you know, if he doesn't, and I know that's going to be hard for you to hear. Because you did state that y'all have been together for four years. So, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy just to say, hey, I'm done with him. But... You're going you're gonna to need somebody strong to talk to. Go to your pastor. And I know y'all saying, you tell that girl to go to her pastor. No, she. that's why they have uh, you do pre-counseling before you get married. Because some preachers do counseling with their members before they marry them. So they can, you know, know what to expect. So that's what I would feel that you should do too. Because that's not... No, you don't need to be sitting there with this on your heart, and you know, next month y'all getting married, and all of the preparations are done, and everything's paid for, and then you get ready to marry him, and then start having doubts, and you having doubts now, you you, you having cold feet, and this is March, and y'all getting married in April, so I think that you you know talk to him talk to him talk to him and then then y'all talk to the to the pastor together um i don't know if your church does pre-counseling i know my church does and you know before people get married they he does pre-counseling on them before so do that and then you guys let me know what y'all think. Because that is a good question. Is that a gateway? To, to say, hey, it's okay, for you, it's okay for you to mess with somebody that's cheating. That's a good question. So, this is going to probably be my last video today. And I got y'all two back to back. And baby girl, keep me updated and posted, please. Love yourself, those around you never negative always positive and know that everything's going to be all right bye